know the target. Shiva's dominant. And Shiva? Oh no. Dominant. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. To Kai? <laughs> that ain't him. Yes, Sergeant. Ooh, look at the sword. It's like focus, a spike. Wyvern. Do I play? Hang on, I gotta play. Okay. Home sweet home. It's this Allow guy again. Remember we saw this guy in the last Final gameplay Fantasy piece. 16. Final Fantasy 16 is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a storied franchise with 35 years of history. Yet while this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there's absolutely no need to have played any of the Sound previous games now playing. jumping in. Oh, what With did you request, Panda? Real-time action and RPG features. The song we're hearing? Final Fantasy 16 has been developed as the first true action RPG in the series. The first true action Using RPG. The power of the PlayStation 5 to its fullest, the game delivers an expansive, thrilling gameplay experience. Which oh my god. To a high speed roller Look at coaster this. Ride. Whoa! Sit down, Burb. This is what Dudley does to Burbs. He catches on fire and starts throwing them around. Combos! This is looking so good to me. They found a way to get me interested in buying another Final Fantasy game. Good job. Props. <laughs> Cards and letters. I'm sending cards and letters to Square Enix. Holy moly. That can't be it. They didn't have people wait around for two hours to see. Okay, I was about to say, come on, man, you didn't do us like that, did Clive you? Rosfield, and his journey takes place in the realm of Valisthea. We follow the epic tale of Clive, shield of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, as it unfolds across three distinct periods in our hero's life: his teens, twenties, and thirties. While the story begins with Clive in his 20s, a fully playable flashback will allow you to experience the pivotal events that shaped his past and present. And thus does the curtain open on this newest Final Fantasy adventure. That's pretty cool. You played through 30 years of this guy's life. So it's not just like a week of his life that that was the most devastating, crazy 10 days of, of life, you know? It's like, this is an ongoing uh, conflict. You get to see where it came from, where it, where it had a middle and an end. That's a pretty cool way to do an RPG. in Final Fantasy 16 is driven via a world map with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main narrative. The world map can be opened at any time, allowing players access to all manner of locations across Valisthea. Here, players will meet new friends encounter formidable foes I see and a uncover big doggy. great and wondrous mysteries. Rough. Ah, I see the different swords you can have on your back. That's nice. Mm. 
Looks like your sword actually updates on your back, so whatever you're wearing, it actually look it's it's on you. Chocobos? Is that a chocobo? Chicken choco? Yeah, look, there's the doggy. Whoa. I'd like to talk holy, about holy. the combat of Final Fantasy 16. All the talk battles about in the game it. take place in real time and are not turn-based. As Clive progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. Now, <laughs> let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. Yo, combos. Is he the best? What in the world? He's looking like four spoken with a with a way better frame rate. <laughs> Zap him. You gotta do it. Your doggy helps you too. Remember the dog was was messing that lady up last time we saw this game. Doggy was just giving her mad problems. The abilities that Clive wields have unique characteristics depending on the icon they are derived from. Players can use ability points collected by defeating enemies to unlock more abilities or upgrade existing ones. Nice. Can't decide which iconic ability to unlock or upgrade? No problem. You can let the game choose for you. Wonder if the game just chooses like the best thing for you Final to have Fantasy for the next encounters or what? A range of timely accessories to provide support to those players who may not be so skilled at action games, bringing them a truly enjoyable experience. Players are encouraged to equip Clive with different combinations of these accessories until they find the one that perfectly matches their own playstyle. A combination I can particularly recommend to those who may struggle with action Ooh, gameplay nice dodge. is the Ring of Timely Focus and the Ring of Timely Strikes. This combination allows players That's to That's cool. A you can actually dodge the attacks. You don't have to just button, soak damage. As well as shifting into a window of slow motion That's cool. whenever Clive is about to be hit by an attack, giving them a little extra time to hit R1 and evade. Alternatively, players could equip an accessory that fully automates evasion. As I said before, I really encourage Wow, it'll everyone just evade for you if you have that equipment. So it'll just dodge no matter what. That's pretty dang cool. Look and at for that. Those who want to concentrate Ooh, on the story, that looks awesome. Don't forget to choose story focus mode before starting a new game. Yeah, really. That's really cool. They they're starting to add mode. that to games. Some people don't want to have to deal with all the, from the start, super duper challenges. They just want to have a cool story playthrough. Worry too much with the action. I appreciate that, man. And I know there's the get good crowd, but then just just go get good then, man. <laughs> go ahead. 
Some of us want to like know what the story is, and some of us don't want to have to be stuck on stuff for four four years. Like I just was on Elden Ring. Along his journey, <laughs> who will join him as friends and allies. Not four years, but you know what I mean. Fifty-two weeks or something. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, you didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. Jill, a friend from Clive's youth. It really is Such deep. encounters and reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. It is. Clive. Clive. Clive Barker. I remember your your touching tale of horror. It scared me to my core. Fighting alongside I'm still scarred from it. Give me a hug. Mr. Barker, you're the best. Clive Barker. Party members are fully AI driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting. I hope they're smart. I hope your I hope your AI counterparts are, are actually kind of smart about what they do. This is nice. Look at that. Get him, doggy friend. Look at that, the doggy's jumping in too. This is awesome. Oh, there he is. Cannot forget Torval. Yeah. What's his name? Twaddle? A smart, strong, and fiercely loyal hound. Torval is always by Clyde and willing to stand by him in the face of whatever cruel fate may befall them. Torval will act of his own accord, but players can also give him direct commands. Ooh, yo, Just fresh, don't forget fresh doggy. Twaddle? Treats every now Twaddle. Aw, oh, give him treats. Goots. Yum. Yay. Tord? Tordle? I don't know what he's saying, but I... I oh, love the man. doggy already. She's the best healer this side of the let's give, let's give, uh, let's give a treat to, to Fando. Go. Have a look around. Fando Grito. It's not on the screen. After I gotta add it to this. The game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. I like turtles. <laughs> man, are you hanging out with Darby? Here in the hideaway, you want Sting Clive to be your daddy too? <laughs> can purchase new weapons, armor, and consumables such as potions. He's got the same color face as you. Cannot find a better price than that. Blackthorn, a highly skilled blacksmith, works the hideaway's forge, bring in materials to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. After upgrading your equipment or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Arete Stone. Oh, whoa. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space where they are free to refine and practice combos of their very own. Really? Once you're confident in your skills, try your hand at arcade mode and see how Posted your pop up on Twitter doing a little howl. Oh, I want to see. Oh, stab you. Hideaway is home to a lot of other features as well. This is looking pretty dang crispy, man. I like this. What do you guys think of this game Not so far? Not only will players discover a variety of side quests here, but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valisthea. Lost Wing, the Holy Empire. All right, Clive. Not sure. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? <laughs> Her name's Mid. She's like the the third best girlfriend he ever had. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Mr. 
visit the hunt board to gain information on elite marks fearsome foes elite marks about the realm and <laughs> slain. you're hunting the hunting down aew fans elite marks Dang, that's crazy. That's what this game's about? You hunt down AEW fans. Oh. Yeah, this looks about right. Just a, a crazy There's thing that flips around all day. Hippocrates, who will unlock okay. Valisthea's secrets as Clive recounts tales of his adventures. I have quite the vibe nice, we got the we got the theme song. You wish to study the tones? The battle, the battle victory song. Here for another <laughs> of my lectures. And Vivian Ninetales, a scholar and strategist. Vivian Ninetales? To explain to Clive the current state of the realm and provide information on key players. There are all kinds of interactions and features in the hideaway to help players get even Whoa, more enjoyment this game out of their time deep. with Final Fantasy 16. Seems like it might be worth the purchase price, you know? Like, there's enough in it to... To be worth, like, 60 bucks. Whoa. That's where you're at? On his travels, Clyde <gasps> will encounter a wide array of fearsome foes. Fighting a giant Marlboro. Fighting a cigarette salesman. Night of Binding Dawn. Oh, they're fighting the weekend. It's Abel in a suit of armor. Oh man, that's a cool looking enemy right there. It's like an armadillo dragon. Oh, that's crazy, dude. All kinds of different gameplay and stuff. Doggy, get him. Twaddle, Tortle, whatever your name is. Doggo. Oh my goodness. He will, of course, clash with the dominants who wield the power of the icons. Oh, you can see where it's going to hit, too. You see that? There's, like, indication on the ground where it's going to hit and everything. That's awesome. They found a way to indicate what's happening without making it all kind of video gamey. Colossal beasts who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. Whoa. Mysterious constructs of the Fallen. A civilization shrouded in mystery. Yeah, that's a familiar looking enemy. Liquid flame. themselves oh they're called icons now real-time action combat as Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits holy moly the shining point of Final Fantasy 16 however has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles so you get to take control of the icons Wow. Dude, look at this. <laughs> you know what they say. It's just an icon living. I missed that song. We haven't heard that in a while. We should hear that again. That's a good song, man. I should use that as one of my entrance themes. 
People would probably just hate on me so hard if I if I use that. These battles differ depending on the icon encountered. You know, we're and fighting Santa Claus? Is unique, right down to gameplay. Players will experience everything from a 3D scrolling shooter to a heavyweight wrestling match with devastating attacks wrestling that match. the entire battlefield. These massive scale boss battles are fighting Bahamut. Seamless, and I can promise you heart stopping, controller gripping excitement. Oh my god, dude, I love it. Hands on the game for yourself. Dude, I'm glad I figured out this 60 frames per second stuff because we, if we play this game, we're gonna need the highest quality. Oh, no. Oh. This is looking like everything I want. This is incredible, dude. This is incredible. It's like it's like a bunch of games I've played before, but they put them together and made it so beautiful and smooth. It's reminding me of Panzer Dragoon. It's reminding me of uh, um, oh, what's the name of that game? Uh, Asura's Wrath. It's reminding me of the other Final Fantasy that I've played. It's just. My gosh. What in the heck? Yo, QZ, welcome. This is looking very worthy. Okay, good night. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what happened? Why you gotta leave all of a sudden? Oh my goodness. The strength. You saw how sharp that was? Goodness gracious, man. So, everyone, what did you think? Thank you for I've seen everything life has to offer today. now. I know, Final right? What the heck is this? Worldwide, June 22nd. And there's still plenty that we've left to reveal. Battle content, I bet. side content, <laughs> end game content, and more. We hope to bring you more on these aspects of the game in the near future. Also, I'm truly Goodness excited gracious. to finally be able to reveal that Final Fantasy 16's main theme was written and performed by one of Japan's greatest recording artists, Kenshi Yonezu. Oh. We've still got a lot more in store for you in the coming weeks, and I hope you all. Oh, Kenshi! <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> I tried. I, I tried to do the thing that everybody does. Oh. See you again soon. Legendary. <laughs> I must say that the music, everything sounded great. This was awesome. What in the wide world?